Today I'm in my pantry. We are going to make a meal plan for the week based off of what I have in my pantry and freezer. And for the remainder of groceries, I'm going to take you with me to Aldi and share with you a grocery haul. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So my pantry and freezers are full of food that I need to get used up and I thought it would be fun to make a list of meals that I can make off of what I have in my freezer and pantry, plan my meals for this week, and then for any remaining ingredients I need, I'll be going to Aldi and I'll share a haul with you as well. So I already kind of have a list started with just some things off the top of my head, but I'm here in my pantry and I'm going to to make make some more ideas when I do pantry meal planning I prefer to write down meal ideas based on what I have rather than just writing down ingredients um, to me it's better to meal plan that way because it just I don't know it just it just works better for me so I'm gonna pull down a bin of uh, cans and we'll could just kind of go through and see what we can make out of this so I do have a a uh, bag of bucatini, which is something I use to make pasta carbonara, so I'll write that down. I've also got both sweet corn and regular corn, and I use both of those to make corn casserole, so I'm gonna write that down as well. I've got some Alfredo sauce. There's actually a really good chicken broccoli Alfredo lasagna that I've made before, so I'm gonna put that on my list as well. I have some tomato paste, and obviously you can make a lot of things with tomato paste, but sometimes when I see tomato paste, I think of uh, shepherd's pie because that's what I, I don't know, I just think of using it for that, so I'm going to write that down as well. I have some pizza sauce, and I'm actually going to pull this out right now because I'm going to be using it uh, this evening for a recipe, but then I have some enchilada sauce, so I'm going to write down uh, beef enchiladas since it's the red sauce. I have a jar of banana pepper rings, so I can always make... Um, Italian beef sandwiches. In fact, that might be something good to do this week because I think I have some rosemary in the fridge as well. All right, so in this bin, I've got some coconut milk, which when I think of coconut milk, I always just think of curry, so I'm gonna write that down. I've got some cream and chicken soup, some cream and mushroom soup. I always think of cream and mushroom for um, green bean casserole, <laughs> and then cream and chicken for tater tot casserole, so I'm gonna write those down as well. I've also got, actually, some hamburger helper <laughs> in here. Uh, I think I bought this one week when I was going out of town for maybe Adam to use, and he didn't, but uh, that's fine. We'll put it on the list. I also have this packet of P.F. Chang's um, chicken lettuce wraps. So this is probably something that I would make like for myself for lunch. So I'll put that on the list as well. When I'm making my meal idea list, I always um, put all three meals down. So it's not just dinners that I'm coming up with. I've also got a couple of packets of this uh, lemongrass basil simmer sauce. So that's something that I could do with chicken and rice. A subscriber sent me this. I can't remember who, but it's a broccoli beef sauce for like a saute. So I'll put that on the list as well. I have some of these um, crispy taco shells from Thrive. I typically gravitate towards like soft taco shells because that's what my family likes, but they will eat the crispy as well. So I'll put those down. I've got a package of spring roll wrappers. So I'll put that on the list. And then another thing that I just realized I have is some rice noodles so I can make pad thai as well. So I do also have a bag of this whole grain stuffing mix from Thrive and I actually have a really good recipe that I make with um, baked chicken. And I think you mix together like cream and chicken soup and white wine um, and then you top it with that and Swiss cheese. It sounds weird, but it's like, it's a Paula Deen recipe. It's really good. So I'm gonna write that down. Okay, so I've got some good old Velveeta. I think I bought this when it was on sale. So there's a couple things I typically think of when I, I think of Velveeta. So obviously mac and cheese is one. Um, another thing that you can make with Velveeta is the Rotel dip, which I think somewhere in here I have a can of, well, it's in the other, I have a can of Rotel so I could make like the Rotel and Velveeta cheese dip or I also make like a ham noodle casserole which uses egg noodles, ham, and then you make a cheese sauce. It's something that um, I had a lot growing up and I always just like nostalgia. So I'll probably write that down as well. Okay, so this bin is mostly um, beans. So I usually, I, 
I typically keep a ton of these on hand because I use them um, so much for other things. But in here I have uh, some, both some dried and canned garbanzo beans. So I could probably um, do hummus with those. I also have some chili beans and some pinto beans. So beef chili is always an option. I've also got like four cans of white beans. So probably with these I could do like a minestrone soup or even like a white chicken chili. And then I also have a jar of red lentils. I don't know if I've ever cooked with red lentils before, so if you guys have a good recipe, let me know. I do also have some green lentils, which I know I could do like a lentil soup with, like with a ham bone, but if you guys have recipes, let me know. All right, so I could probably make some more <laughs> meal ideas, but I already have this whole page filled up, so I feel like that's get, probably gonna be enough for now. All right, so I've got my meal planner here. In case you guys are new, this is the meal planner that I use. It's from Carrie L. Um, I'll link her site down below. I'm not sure what she has in stock right now, but she typically has a couple different sizes. This one is the mini meal planner, and the other one is like an eight and a half by 11. Um, sheet so you know this one's a little bit smaller which I like so now that I have my list of meals I'm gonna go through the week and decide what I want to make so tonight's kind of easy because it's actually Halloween happy Halloween by the way so we are going to make some or I talk about we like me <laughs> I'm gonna make some mummy dogs so basically hot dogs wrapped with crescent rolls I do have hot dogs on hand so that's something that I don't have to purchase I'm gonna make some mini non bread pizzas I already have all of the ingredients for that some chili that's in the freezer I just need to heat that up veggies and dip I have all the ingredients for that and then have you guys seen like the little uh, ghosts made with the nutter butters and then you dip them in like white chocolate i'm gonna make those too the only thing i need to get is the nutter butters so sunday dinner is taken care of so now i just need to fill in the week for monday tuesday wednesday thursday one thing i would say is that to make meal planning easier if you do have a day of the week where you want to um, designate that you either order pizza or eat out it makes it a lot easier so friday we always have pizza night so that's super easy for me. I don't even have to think about it. My kids know, I know, everybody knows <laughs> it's pizza night. So I also typically don't plan ahead for the coming weekend unless I have something that I know, you know, we have going on. I just kind of leave that blank and fill it in later in the week. So essentially I'm planning for four nights, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So based on this list and kind of what I talked to you guys about, I think I am going to do the French dip sandwiches um, in the crock pot this week. So the other thing that I always have to keep in mind too is that my kids are in swim. And so now we have swim practice every single night for about two and a half hours. So I can kind of like run home and make things during that time while you know in between we're running them back and forth to the pool but i have to just keep in mind that i need to make things that do not require a ton of uh effort like things that need to be eaten you know as soon <laughs> as they're prepared so crock pot meals are always good i'm gonna go ahead and put the french dip on tuesday i'll uh, link the recipe that i use down below it is actually pioneer woman's recipe for i think she calls it drip beef but she uses fresh herbs in hers like rosemary and thyme, which I already have on hand. Um, so that'll be good. Her recipe is really, really good. And then I'll probably buy some rolls to go with that. Um, I don't have any right now, I don't think. So I will need to purchase that part. And then as far as like the cheese, sometimes I use provolone cheese. Right now I do have some mozzarella in my freezer. So I'll go ahead and use that up for that. And then to go with it, I'll probably just make like a fruit salad. Um... And then I think we do have a bag of fries in the freezer, so I could do that on the side as well. So that's one night already done. I need to, do need to pick up fruit at the grocery store. We're running low on that. Okay, another thing that I wanted to make this week is um, burgers. 
So I do have um, some seeded buns out in the garage fridge. I was going to make homemade Whoppers last weekend and I ran out of time. So I'll go ahead and do that um, this week. Um, Kira doesn't care for burgers, so I'll do a chicken sandwich for her. I'll probably do some broccoli on the side. And then I think we have baked beans in the um, pantry, so that'll work out. So for that meal, I basically, I think, have everything except for I will need to get some lettuce, broccoli, and I think that's it. Okay, so two more nights. Um, so I think I am going to use that lemongrass basil chicken simmer sauce uh, because I saw that the uh, date was nearing. So I'm gonna write that down for Wednesday. And then with that, I can make um, some brown rice and I don't know what veggie to have on the side. Probably like a cucumber salad would be good. Okay, so for the remaining night, I think I'm gonna do a recipe out of my cookbook, which I always forget to mention this, that I do have a cookbook in case you guys are new. I'll link it down below. Um, but I've got this recipe in here for Korean style beef tacos that's really good. I actually think I put that on the list too earlier when I was working on this. So I think we'll go ahead and do that on Monday. And that will be good too because I do have leftover refried beans from the other night. So if anyone wants like a bean burrito, I can make that as well. But I think I have most of the ingredients on hand for that. When I was making my pantry meals list, I did use quite a few recipes out of uh, this book because obviously it's all based around pantry staples. So I'm just looking to see if there's anything that I need. I already have uh, flour tortillas, so that will be good. Now I'm trying to think of what we'd have on the side for that. I think I might just look for a salad kit when I'm at the grocery store today because I think Aldi does have like the Asian style salad kits. And then with these tacos, the one I would recommend following the recipe and making the sauce that goes with it. It's basically like sour cream, lime, hot sauce, kosher salt, and then you kind of drizzle it over there with fresh chopped cilantro. They are really, really, really good. I highly recommend them. I normally double the recipe because typically when I make tacos, I use two pounds of ground beef. Um, we don't always eat it all, but then we have leftovers, which is just fine for me. And then I'm sure we can have some fruit on the side of that as well. Okay, so let me review the meal plan with you. I went ahead and just wrote down everything on here that I don't have currently and need to get at the store. So this is why I really like planning my meals based off of what's in my pantry because typically what ends up happening is I really only have to buy a few fill-in ingredients and then the rest of the things I buy are just like produce, like obviously fresh produce, we run out of that weekly and then things for breakfast and lunch. So um, like I said, tonight we're gonna do the mummy dogs, which are the hot dogs wrapped in crescent rolls uh, with mini pizzas, chili, veggies and dip. And then I, we're just gonna have kind of like an appetizer-y uh, slash dinner because you know people are gonna be trick-or-treating and all of that. Um, Monday we're gonna do the Korean beef tacos from my uh, cookbook. And then I'm going to try to find a salad kit and have some fruit on the side. Tuesday will be a crock pot meal, French dip sandwiches, uh, fruit salad, and fries. Wednesday will be lemongrass basil chicken with that simmer sauce. Um, I'll make some rice. I typically do like a baked brown rice in the oven. That recipe is also in um, my cookbook. I do have this. It's on page 32. Typically for brown rice, you would bake it for about an hour but i've calculated it for white rice and it's about 28 minutes so about half the time if you're using white rice and then i'll try to find a recipe for some type of cucumber salad um, with maybe like some type of an asian vinaigrette i think that'll be good thursday we'll do burgers slash chicken sandwiches broccoli and baked beans and then friday we'll do pizza night so let's go to the store all right here we go got my corner get a cart well these are a seasonal item $2.99 for pomegranate. I don't know. I think my kids have tried these before. I can't remember. I might get some for them to try. I think this is new. It's sparkling. They have sparkling white tea and sparkling black tea. I might try some of this. It only has two grams of added sugar. I 
I like tea, I just really don't like sweet tea, so I'm gonna try some of this. Look at these cute little trucks. They're $13, so I don't know if I'm gonna buy one, but they're cute. There's a green one and a blue one. Of course, it's Halloween, so we gotta get the Christmas stuff out. Actually, I might grab some of these. I wonder if this is any good. Hawaiian stuffing mix? I mean, I love Hawaiian bread, so I feel like I have an urge to try it, but have you guys tried it before? I don't think I've ever seen these before. These are kind of cool Instant Pot kits. Hatch green chili chicken and rice casserole, and then this one is a teriyaki chicken and rice. Hmm. So I have to tell you guys, Kira saved the day because I left my grocery list at home. <laughs> and so I texted her and I'm like, can you find it and text me a picture of it, which she, which she did. So I could remember everything. So thank you, Kira. All right, guys. So I spent $196 at Aldi, which I actually think is a pretty dang good deal for all of this food. Uh, I continue to notice that grocery prices have increased, but for me, Aldi is the best place to go to get value for your dollar. Okay, so we're out of green grapes. I bought a big bag last week and uh, we ate them all. So I'm gonna wash up more today and get those in the fridge for snacking on this week. The kids also eat them for breakfast and lunches. Uh, I got some broccoli for that night this week when we're gonna have broccoli as a side for dinner. I got some more limes just to make sure that I had enough. The Korean beef taco recipe does call for these, so I just wanted to make sure that I had plenty on hand. I got some strawberries. Uh, I have some in the fridge already cut up, so I just went ahead and got one pound this week. I got some cherry tomatoes. These look really good. They're kind of still uh, on the vine. I am going to kind of wash and process some of this produce this afternoon so we can have that for the week. I ha got some pomegranate arils. Is that how you say that? Aerials? Aerials? I don't know. I should have looked it up. Uh, I think the kids will enjoy these. I can't remember if they've tried them before. I think maybe a long time ago. These are also really good on yogurt. If you've never tried them like that or oatmeal. Uh, okay, so they had this Wahlburgers uh, bacon on sale for $5.99 a package, which this is really good quality bacon and that's a pretty decent price. So I went ahead and stocked up. I got three packages. I will go ahead and put um, two of these into the freezer right away. So I'll have those for later. I got some celery. We like to have this in like tuna salad. If I make chicken salad, I sometimes put it in there. Uh, sometimes I'll just cut it up and Adam and Connor will eat it with either ranch or peanut butter. I got some peppers. These will be for a recipe this week along with just snacking. I got one of the Asian chopped salad kits to have for a side for dinner one night. And then for myself for a lunch, I just got one of the Caesar chopped salad kits. I figured I could throw some uh, chicken in there and have that for lunch. I got some sugar snap peas. My kids really like to snack on those. I wanted to get a bag of shredded lettuce, but they did not have that. So I will go ahead and shred my own. So I got a head of iceberg lettuce. Um, I did get a couple more treats today than I normally get because it is Halloween today. So we're gonna kind of have a special dinner tonight. I wanted to find Nutter Butters or like a generic version of Nutter Butters so I could make those ghosts, but I could not find them at Aldi and I didn't want to go to another store. So I decided instead to get a couple of different other things. I saw that they had these uh, caramel apples in a three pack for $1.99, which I thought was a good deal. So I'll go ahead and cut these up and we'll have them tonight with our Halloween dinner. I got some asparagus. I thought this would actually be a good side for dinner one night this week. This is a pretty large bag of asparagus and it was only $2.99. So I feel like that's a really good price. And then I got some of these Cara Cara oranges. Um, they also had mandarin oranges, but these are seasonal and they only come out for a little bit every year. So I decided to get these instead. I got some 2% milk for when we run out of what we have in the refrigerator. And then for the mummy dogs, I didn't know if I would need one can or two crescent rolls and they just happened to have the brand name crescent rolls today. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those and we'll see how much I use tonight. Um, I did get some cheese cubes for the kids' lunch boxes, one uh, sharp white cheddar and one regular yellow cheddar. We're all out of our turkey sticks, so I got two packages of these. If you've never tried them before from Aldi, they are really good. We like them a lot. I got some sharp cheddar cheese. This will be for sandwiches. 
And then instead of turkey this week, I decided to get some ham just to have on hand for sandwiches. And then sometimes we use this on like English muffins for breakfast sandwiches as well. They had these um, little snacks, again, the in the refrigerated section for $1.99. So I got three of these. I got two of the fruit, cheese, and crackers. This one has apples, grapes, cheese cubes, and Ritz. And then this one is veggies and cheese with ranch. So it has carrots, celery, ranch, and cheese cubes. Um, sometimes Adam will take these in his lunchbox to work with like a can of soup and a sandwich. And then he's good to go for the day. So probably he'll eat those or maybe Kira will. Um, okay, so I was telling you guys about that ham noodle casserole that I sometimes make and I didn't have any egg noodles in my pantry So I went ahead and picked up a bag of those in case I want to make that I got some cheddar cheese rice cakes I haven't purchased rice cakes in a while and I always think these are a good snack for the kids So I got those I think Adam likes them too uh, So I instead of the nutter butters, I went ahead and got these fall party cakes I have been resisting these all season long so today was the day to buy the fall party cakes <laughs> like, <laughs> if it was up to me and I didn't care about how much sugar I was buying and everything I would buy these every week but my kids like go through them in two seconds and I'm like not about that life um, but they are delicious so anyway got those we will have some with our Halloween dessert tonight um, I got some pineapple chunks I just decided to get this instead of getting like a fresh pineapple this week so I'll use those in fruit salad um, I did see this goat cheese dip, and it's by Vermont Creamery. Um, this is like a special deal at Aldi. They don't always have this, obviously. They had several different flavors. They had a plain one, a garlic one, and then this red pepper and lemon, which I thought sounded really good. So I think I'll put that out tonight with our veggies so we can dip in there. And then I also got some sour cream just to have on hand. Uh, okay, Yo Crunch. This... <laughs> You know, no one uh, says that M&Ms and Oreos in vanilla yogurt are healthy. However, I <laughs> saw these there and they were $5.99 and I was like, that is a pretty good price. I'm gonna buy them. I don't always buy this. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I bought this. Uh, but my kids started back in swim and both of them are in the pool at least an hour a day. Uh, and so they're gonna be eating me out of house and home starting <laughs> this week. So I just decided I would go ahead and grab this um, for a treat. They will like that. They can also put them in their lunch boxes. Um, I did get some soup. So for Adam to take to work for lunch, some steak and potato soup and some chicken dumpling soup. And then they had Campbell's cream and chicken soup on sale for 94 cents each. And I always stock up on this when it's on sale. I don't use it frequently, but when I do need it, it's nice to have it on hand. So I got three cans of that. We were all out of cereal and cereal is something we don't really go through that fast in our house. Um, my kids aren't huge cereal fans. They maybe eat it like once or twice a week for breakfast. So this will probably last us a few weeks, but I went ahead and got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They did have the brand name at Aldi. I normally get the cheese crackers. These are like the Ritz Bits sandwich crackers, but they didn't have any on hand. And I needed another box of snacky type things for the kids to take in their bags for snack this week. So I got these. They are the mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. Um, I did go ahead and decide to get the Hawaiian stuffing mix so this isn't necessarily something I needed but you know Aldi only has stuff every once in a while that's like seasonal so I thought well we'll get that <laughs> I'll stick it in the pantry and we'll use it sometime uh, I got some crackers Kira, I think it was Kira or Adam who asked me just to get some plain crackers to keep in the pantry that way if they want to do cheese and crackers they can so I think these are pretty good these are the like club crackers um, obviously the Aldi brand, but I'm pretty sure we've had them before and they're pretty good. So got those and then um, For Kira she really likes granola bars. She's not a huge breakfast eater, but sometimes she'll have a granola bar for breakfast So I got the chewy um, peanut butter chocolate chip ones um, Connor really likes the cinnamon French toast sticks I haven't got them for a while and I saw that Aldi had these protein whole wheat cinnamon French toast sticks which I thought would be really good um, I've never I don't think I've ever seen whole wheat ones before so these will be interesting to try I normally make them in the air fryer for him and um, they're pretty good you know have this with like a little dipper of uh, low sugar syrup and maybe a hard-boiled egg or some fruit on the side it's a pretty quick breakfast during the week 
Uh, okay, bagel pizzas. <laughs> this is probably the third time I've got these. The kids love them. They are just like the brand name Bagel Bites. You get 36 in here for $4.95, which I think is a pretty decent price. I think that price has gone up at Aldi, just like everything else, but they're still a lot cheaper than the name brand. I got some Frito Scoops. Um, these will be for dinner tonight. We're having chili and some of us like to put um, Fritos in our chili. So I grabbed these before I realized that they did not have um, Nutter Butters. These were gonna be the eyes for like the little ghost cookies, but I will use these instead. I think at some point I wanna make some mini pumpkin muffins. And when you make mini muffins, the mini chocolate chips are better in those because they just like distribute better. So that's fine, I'll stick those in the pantry. I did get some Christmas cupcake liners. I was running low on cupcake liners and half the time I don't even care what <laughs> print is on them. I just use them. Um, I got some of these as well, the cheese dip and cracker sticks um, for the kids' lunches and snacks. We are running low on saltines, but I could not find the saltines there, so I just went ahead and got the oyster crackers. Use those for soup. These are French rolls and these are really good with the shredded like Italian beef or French dips that we're gonna have this week. Um, normally the kids aren't like huge fans, honestly, of the sandwich. Like sometimes I'll just make them a sandwich, I'll cut it in half, and then I'll give them extra meat on their plate. Um, and I don't know that I'll eat mine on a bun either. However, these do freeze really well. So we'll use what we use this week and then I'll freeze the rest for a different time. Um, I did get some of these vanilla mini ice cream cookie sandwiches. Um, I think these are really good for portion control. They're only 60 calories each, and they're kind of just like the, you know, vanilla with cookies. So got those. And then I thought Kira would like to try these, the mochi ice cream. I haven't purchased these for a while, so she will enjoy that. I got this to do breakfast meal prep for Adam. I've purchased this before. It's really good. It's a sausage breakfast skillet. And Aldi has these in the frozen section. So you basically just add eggs. It comes with like potatoes, peppers, onions, and pork sausage. And then I usually add cheese to them as well. Really, really good. This is new, I believe. It is a traditional British style cod fish and chips. This has one serving in it. So basically it's just one serving of fish and one serving of fries. Um, I don't know who's gonna eat this, but I thought it was interesting and I thought we would try it. Let me know if you guys have seen this before or if you've tried it. Um, I thought it looked really good. I got two of the sparkling teas that you guys saw. I'm looking forward to trying those. This one is white tea and it's mango ginger and then the black tea is lemon. So those sound really good. Uh, I have been purchasing these Gatorade Juiced. These have no added sugar in them and I put these in the kids' lunch boxes. Um, they're convenient because they're like a smaller size bottle and I like that they don't have any added sugar. I got some Diet Coke for Adam and I. And then this is actually kind of the Aldi version of, what do you call it, Angry Orchard, which is a cider beer. Um, they don't have Angry Orchard at Aldi, so they have Wicked Grove, but this is the cranberry kind, which is um, like a seasonal one. So I don't know, if, I don't know when we're gonna drink this, but I just decided I would try it since they had it on sale this week. And then lastly, I got a bottle of um, shampoo and conditioner for Connor. This is just the Suave Men's. Okay. So that is what I got this week from Aldi. I wanted to mention really quickly in this video, since I got this in the mail yesterday, the November Keto Crate. Um, I've been getting this because they have some really good snacks in here that Adam and I have been eating. This isn't sponsored. I buy this with my own money. Um, I think they're still offering a deal. I think today's the last day for like a buy one, get one free. Either way, I'll put the link down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, we already broke into some of these Chalk Zero uh, coconut milk chocolate almonds, no added sugar, delicious. Um, they also sent some like no sugar added milk chocolate minis or some keto crackers in there. Um, Hawaiian barbecue walnuts, those sound delicious. And then some different bars and cookies and things. There were, there was also other things in here. Um, there was like a beef, there was like beef sticks and I don't know, Adam, <laughs> Adam already kind of went through it, but if you guys want to try it, I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so I thought I would finish out this video by just showing you guys all of the meals I came up with because I didn't read them out all before. So maybe if you're watching this, this can give you some 
ideas uh, for what to make for yourself, but I tried to kind of section these out into like different types of proteins. So, like this is seafood, soups. I don't know what this is. It started out like ham and sausage, but now it looks like there's mac and cheese in there, <laughs> chicken, beef, and then sides. So yeah, up here in the seafood section, I have ginger, soy, halibut, and rice. I actually made this before in my Gwyneth Paltrow video. If you guys want to look up that recipe, it's really good. I have some halibut in the freezer that I can use for that. Tuna pasta salad. I haven't made that in forever, and I think I have all the ingredients for it. Shrimp Alfredo, shrimp and grits, fish tacos, honey soy salmon burgers, which is a recipe out of my cookbook, fish sandwiches. I have some fish fillets in the freezer, uh, pad thai and spring rolls. And then for soups, I have minestrone, white chicken chili and lentil soup, mac and cheese, ham noodle casserole, roasted sausage and potatoes, hot dogs and french fries. Um, I have the chicken broccoli alfredo lasagna. Butter chicken is another recipe out of my cookbook that I always have the ingredients for. Um, honey mustard chicken and rice, chicken pot pie, chicken stir fry, those are all recipes for my cookbook. Uh, chicken stir fry and rice, curry, chicken lettuce wraps and chicken stuffing big, I think I talked about that. Uh, beef enchiladas, pot roast, barbecue meatballs, I like to use Pioneer Woman's recipe, it's really good. Goulash, I have a recipe in my cookbook for that tater tot casserole, shepherd's pie, and beef chili. For the shepherd's pie and beef chili, I have recipes for that in my cookbook as well. Um, Faro Waldorf salad and chickpea carrot salad, focaccia, and pancakes. Those four recipes are in my cookbook as well. Pasta carbonara, corn casserole, green bean casserole, rotel dip, and hummus, and then crispy tacos, hamburger helper, and beef and broccoli. So hopefully this will make me uh, use what's in my pantry a little bit more. I'll, I will refer to this for the next uh, couple months while I'm making my meal plan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.